In the previous video, we located the contents of the box, namely the pump, the oil, and the manual. All AccuFlow pumps are hydraulically balanced diaphragm metering pumps. That means that the main medium of operation of the pump is hydraulic oil, which not only lubricates the internals of the pump, but also pressurizes and depressurizes the diaphragm to stroke back and forth. However, Due to Department of Transportation regulations, we do not ship the pumps filled with oil. The hydraulic oil is shipped in separate containers. Please remove the oil cap and start pouring the oil slowly into the housing. Make sure you gently tilt the housing back and forth a couple of times to work any air pockets out. The oil needs to be filled up to the level shown on the pump. In pumps where the level is not very visible, the oil needs to be filled up to a level just above the top portion of the pressure chamber that contains the plunger. Also at this point, it is useful to note that the internal relief valve is sitting just inside the oil chimney under the oil cap. That is the built-in safety feature that all AccuFlow pumps have to prevent overpressurization. After the oil has been filled, you can replace the oil cap in its place and turn the screw to ensure it stays in place. The next important part is to ensure you have the correct fittings to connect the inlet and discharge tubing to the pump. Before you make any liquid connections, ensure that the isolation valves from the tank or any other source of chemical are shut off. It is also recommended you do this with gloves and eye protection to prevent any accidental exposure to chemicals that may be harmful. This pump happens to have 3 8 male MPT thread. Other AccuFlow pumps could have 1 inch female MPT thread or something entirely different. Please make sure you procure and locate the correct fittings to complete the liquid connections to the pump. Also make sure you apply Teflon tape to further seal the connection. If the pump is supposed to run at a high pressure, please make sure that the fittings and the pipe are capable of handling that pressure without causing a rupture. Consult with your vendor and ask for specifications for the pipe and fittings before using these. Please note that the plastic fittings are not recommended for pressures over 150 psi just as we do not recommend plastic liquid ends for pressures over 150 psi. Now you are ready to give electrical connection to the motor. Once again, here you need to make sure that the electrical power is not on and there is no current coming through the wires. In fact, the plunging into the power source and switching on the power supply should be the last two steps when it is all clear and no one is in harm's way. Make sure you have the exact voltage, amperage, phase, and wire gauge. Please refer to the motor nameplate to not only see the specifications but also the wiring diagram. Depending on the voltage you are hooking up to, choose the relevant diagram and hook the motor up accordingly. This electrical connection should be done by a qualified electrician to prevent any harm to the people and equipment. 